Hi everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. I'm good. Thank you so much. Um, I've been getting a lot of emails, guys, and comments as well of everybody asking me if I can check into who are Meghan Markle's parents. It's such a difficult thing, guys, because sometimes, you know, you don't get information. Sometimes they only allow you to see what they want you to see for the moment. Um, but I'm fascinated too, and I want to know. Um, so let's see what they tell me about who, if Thomas Markle and Doria is really um, Meghan Markle's parents. Let's have a look if those are really her family or really her parents. Let's have a look. And her sister, her sister Samantha, right? Um, let's have a look. I read somewhere or did I see some blog somewhere that's saying that apparently Megan had a, another kid and her sister took over their kid, but I don't think Megan can have kids, so I don't think that that story is true. Um, my, that's my personal opinion on that, but who knows, right? Um, but I don't think so. That's not what I get. Um, so let's see, Megan Markle's parents, Megan Markle's parents. Who are Megan Markle's parents? I'm getting told to shuffle again. Okay, shuffle. Meghan Markle's parents. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You guys see? Okay, guys, so the first one is Field of Dreams. Um, I, for those of you who know little secrets, these are my little secret cards. Um, divine Intervention is coming down. These eggs here, and it's also my drug-induced card as well. But you see these eggs here? These eggs are artificial. So I'm going to say that no, Dory and Thomas are not Megan's parents. They were created and given to her. Um, also, the fact that her father and her are fighting and the fact that she has a half-sister that she's fighting with is basically also to endear her to the community, right? So they want to say, um, you know, like Princess Diana or Princess of Art, she had a hard time with Prince Charles, you know, she, he was cheating on her. So everybody loved Princess Diana because of what she went through. So the queen saw that or the firm, so the royal family saw that. And they wanted to have the same thing for Meghan because they wanted Meghan to go into politics. I got that three times before. that They wanted her to go into politics and they wanted her to be the girl of everybody's heart. So she's mixed race and she had to lead the royal family because of certain things and same kind of feeling as Diana, right? So they were trying to recreate this with Meghan. And Meghan was part of this, this group where they make certain kids with certain bloodlines and they train them as young kids to be groomed and develop into certain roles and positions. So they're playing a role in a position with her. They know that themselves. I don't know because they've been so manipulated in their head about everything going on. So maybe they truly believe that this is who they need to be and who they are. Um, I don't know about that. But she's been groomed since an egg. And she's been an egg. Or like an artificial egg. So she's not from a womb. Like, like Doria. She's not from a mother. These uh, kids who are grown in these situations, in these little fields and um, not with family, are given family. They're, they're assigned a mother, they're assigned a father, they're assigned a certain family or familiar um, situation, a family situation, a family dynamic, so that they grow up and they grow into that role. And so that history can go back and look at them in that role, but they're designed and groomed for certain things. Those parents or people become their handlers most of the time is what i'm getting okay so yeah so she was encouraged she was encouraged as a young girl by a single parent um that she's gonna do certain things she was groomed as a kid so she was encouraged as a kid of her life path okay strength they gave her strength because of certain bloodline she has and they told her you're gonna have the world in your hands you're gonna have the world in the palm of your hands and she had to have a kid or two she has Archie, but it's not really her kids. It's from this. The artificial, somebody else has the eggs. Somebody else creates the babies. In my last reading, I got that Harry already had a kid and made it hers. I don't, I don't know. You know, that's what I got. Um, but she was told she's going to have the world in her hands. She's going to be this beautiful soul that everybody's going to love because of her, you know, things she had to go through in the royal family and things like that. Okay. They're creating this for us to manipulate our emotions and our feelings about certain situations. They want us to feel sad for her and that she's a good person and all those kinds of things, right? Um, 
unexpected visitors, right? So these are unexpected, unexpected family. She's got unexpected um, people in her life. Um, the, the family that she has are not her natural family. They're unexpected visitors. Um, and you see the white rabbit there? Follow the white rabbit. She's looking in with like flowers and everything behind her into this sort of temple that she's looking into with religion and she's been told to come in and um, form this lifestyle that they've created for her and show the world that this is her lifestyle. This has all been manipulated and done for her. Her life has already been written, okay? Um, sad embrace. This is, you know, I get so many things on Megan, like um, she's not emotional. Like, you know, sometimes she looks like glazed over or something and you know, you think, oh, everything going on, she'd feel sad. But because she's been so manipulated in her mind of who she needs to be and what she needs to do and she's got to carry the world, she was supposed to do something that, you know, political or something like that. She doesn't feel sad. She doesn't realize actually what's going on. Like she has, she's numb. She has no internally, like a motherly maternal instinct. She has no sadness, no grief. It's almost like she's just kind of like there. She's just, it's almost like soulless, like she's just there and this is what I need to do. Um, I had unexpected visitors, but they taught me what to do. I need to do certain things and I'm going to go ahead and do that. And she's trying to still do that with everything falling apart around her. So I don't know if she's intentionally doing it or she doesn't realize everything is falling around, falling apart around her. Um, so yeah, she's not sad. She has no emotion. She's just not emotional. I just want to pull one of these cards, guys, because this is quite interesting, actually. I just see what the spirit guys want to tell me. Megan Markle's parents. Megan Markle's parents. Megan Markle's parents. It's almost like I'm getting in my head, guys, like a child farm. Where they go and they pick certain and there's certain ones that have a certain bloodline. These ones are for the bloodline, they're gonna be raised to do these things. These ones are for, like, you know, Anderson Cooper just had a kid, and he's is that bloodline. He's going to come to you because that kid needs to follow and do something in the bloodline. These kids are here to, when they grow up, they're going to have more kids for us. These kids are for organ harvesting. These kids are meat kids. It's kind of like that that I'm getting. It's really gross. Oh, I'm feeling nauseous again. Okay, I'm not going to be too long because I'm feeling nauseous, guys. Sorry. All right, Meghan Markle's parents. Okay. Yeah, new life. She was a new life. She has a divine mother. She doesn't have a specific mother. She's part of this group here. Do you see here? New life. She was a new life with a certain bloodline. And this lady's overlooking the child with a flower. They're giving the child flowers because this child's going to grow up to be who they need to be. She has a divine mother in this group. Right? She has a divine, like somebody, probably a mother to a lot of kids. Divine mother who looks after them with a certain bloodline. Upside down, straight away, inner child, right? Imagination. So she didn't get to be a full-on kid. She didn't have an, She doesn't have an inner child. So that's where she knows she doesn't feel emotion or sad. She's got no imagination. Everybody's telling her who to be, what to be from when she was young. Devotion. Nature spirits. She is devoted to these people. This is what she knows. They've given her strength. They're telling her that she's... And she loves popularity. She wants to be in the public eye. She wants to be somebody who's important. Um, yeah, I'm just moving these guys because I'm going to throw the shells because I'm feeling emotions with all this like kid farming stuff. It's making me feel really, really gross. Um, I'm told to pick up as many shells as I can, so I'm going to do that. Um, let's see what the earth has to say. Okay, one shell fell like really far away. I don't know what shell it was, guys, but when a shell falls, it's never really good. Yeah. This is not here. It's there. Okay. Okay. Oh, I feel so sick, guys. Oh, this kid for me has come over me, and it's gross what they do. All right, um, so Field of Dreams, so here, this kid farming and all these eggs, artificial eggs, we, it's something huge that we don't know about is going to blow wide open. This is a huge blow open, wide open shell, okay? <clears throat> Encouragement, you see here, this shell is my broken shell here. Pieces are coming off. 
um, it's an old shell. These are telling me this is broken kids, kids who don't have families, like legitimately don't have families who have they've been made to be farmed. And she's part of this kid farm. Oh, oh, nauseous. Strength. They've given her strength to feed off of people's energy and money and emotions. She's trying to be another Diana. And it's not working. It's backfire on them. Remember I told you about this divine mother that they, there's a mother for many, many kids. This is my my shell. It's got another. This is what I got for um, Harry with a baby inside. He already has a family. There's a little, is a tiny little one exactly like this inside. Smooth, clean. This is telling me that this, this um, farm is part of the farming. They, they create families. They create babies. Okay. Um, inner child, yeah. See, this is a, the, my child shell. She has no inner child because they they took her when she was young. She doesn't know any better. This is who she is. I kind of feel bad for her in a way. She just doesn't know who, she, what kind of child she was. Um, she cannot have children. I'm getting that again, guys. She cannot have children. Here is broken, and um, she's a certain bloodline. They needed her to to do something. But she's no inner child. She has no maternal or kids instincts whatsoever. Wow. Devotion and nature spirits. Um, she's devoted to this. She's devoted to the occult. Part of this kid's farming. Okay. Um, something that looks so divine and angelic-like is actually a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. Which is not good. Okay. Certain bloodline. That they have babies for certain blood types. Remember, this is my um, certain bloodline shell. With the, they create babies for certain reasons. The, the baby farming. Oh. Mm. occult money occult money okay it's a hole money's gonna go down in a hole so she's gonna lose that in a minute the devotion not her but the whole occult starting to lose things they cover up their darkness with good acts good and kind acts but the kind acts are now coming out the, um or or the dark acts are overlapping the kind acts okay we're getting to see everything um this is a mental anguish um shell mental um like blindness she's blinded to all of this this is all she knows everything is going smoothly everything is how you know we're covered up and they're still trying to cover it up for as long as possible but it's going to come out everything's just flowing as it should right now but for them but the light is coming out well, for her she no because things are happening P things are coming out she thinks everything is fine she doesn't think that there's anything wrong but it's about to come out she really doesn't have any feeling she has no sad embrace she has no sadness no feeling and this right here is the shell that you think you know someone or something or a situation, but there's a line right across there is telling you she's devoted to this cult or this, you know, people who've given her this life, but it's totally not what she thinks it is, and it's totally not what we think it is. I think it's more for us because she's disillusioned. She's gone. She's not going to be, this is what she thinks, this is what she knows. So we, it's something we have we think we know something, or at least a lot of people, and we're starting to wake up to it, but it's completely not what we think it is. Okay? Guys, I'm sorry, I'm feeling really, really sick and nauseous because of something that's come over me about this baby farming or kid farming. But I hope that was a good reading and I hope that um it made sense. And um I just pray guys, just pray for humanity. Thanks, have a good one. Bye guys.